Health systems around the world are designed to maintain health and preserve life. However, many lack the resources and support needed to treat and improve the health of people on a daily basis, let alone when pushed to their limits by major incidents. An outbreak of Zika virus in northeastern Brazil in early 2015 led to a widespread epidemic in the Americas, islands in the South Pacific and Southeast Asia. Many of these countries saw parts of their health system overwhelmed by the epidemic, while already existing problems were highlighted. Natural disasters from the Nepal earthquake in 2015 to the floods in Louisiana in 2016 have disrupted and in some cases destroyed health facilities and services. These events, along with the mass migration of people to Europe from the Middle East and Africa, and the growing global threat of antimicrobial resistance, are examples of situations where health systems have had to withstand and adapt to pressures. Economic crisis, the outbreak of war and conflict, and an increasing burden of NCDs and mental illness all represent challenges that require strong health systems. But what is a strong health system and how can we build one? A health system is the collection of people, institutions and resources arranged through policy to improve the health of a population. A health system is strong and resilient when it is able to prepare and respond to crisis by maintaining its core functions and adapting when needed. Strong and resilient health systems have a clear focus on ensuring equity and social justice and support the empowerment of the most vulnerable members of society. There is a growing interest in resilient health systems from donors, agencies and national governments. But potential strategies need to be guided by evidence from across a range of research disciplines, known together as health policy and systems research, in order to fully understand the social and political complexities of these systems. The health system goes beyond the availability of health services. It goes beyond the mere provision of services in the facilities to look at the entire context that informs those services. It includes the health service providers as well as the healthcare seekers. It includes entire populations. To build a resilient healthcare system, you need to look into aspects of policy, you need to look into aspects of research, so that you come up with things that are relevant to keep that dynamic. Good. Societies are unequal, and that creates barrier, geographical, financial, uh, clinical, cultural barriers to access to effective healthcare. As researchers, our responsibility is to find a way of uh, understanding what are the motivations, what are the determinants of those inequalities and the different uses of power to help uh, policymakers to address those inequalities effectively. Most times, people would want to believe that a health service is a health service. A disease is a disease. What you need is the appropriate medicine or the appropriate interventions. But if you look at even just basics, like what we have in our country, things like the essential drugs list, who determines what becomes essential? Is it the donor who is financing the budget, or is it the Ministry of Health people, depending on what they see? We have to begin re reviewing, looking at health systems as being beyond health services whose wisdom is located with medical professionals. HPSR plays a crucial role in informing the design of health policy and the delivery of interventions to protect and improve health. An essential focus of HPSR is the implementation of policy, providing practical solutions to challenges in health systems and ensuring policy research is tailored to and embedded in each health system. The most effective way of getting health systems policy research into the policy agenda is to establish um, regular dialogue and interaction between the researchers and policymakers. So if the policymaker understands the research uh, background, the researcher understands the policymaker's context, what you are likely to find is that the embedded research that will, that will come out of that marriage is going to be much more likely to be successful in, in, in changing people's lives. Health policy and systems research has been integral in facilitating major health system improvements in challenging environments all over the world. It's really important to integrate health systems and policy research into crises and incidents when shocks happen to health systems. Otherwise we can't respond to them effectively and we can't build effective systems which are going to be more resilient into the future. 
When the response to the Ebola epidemic in West Africa began in 2014, HPSR was important in helping national and international partners understand and navigate social and cultural issues that were, in part, causing the response to fail. The Ebola Response Anthropology Platform is an online and face-to-face -face advice service set up to bring long-term social science research and knowledge in real time to inform outbreak responses. The advice we were able to offer helped humanitarian and medical agencies to be more sensitive to community members' own concerns and anxieties, to make their messages and the ways they delivered them fit local contexts better, to deal with resistance in a way that didn't just assume communities to be ignorant, and crucially, it showed that communities were already learning and that actually it was this that was beginning to turn the epidemic around. Um, so agencies then began to support local level behaviour change rather than to ignore it and assume it wasn't happening. In India, a collaboration between national and international organisations carried out health policy and systems research to support and improve the implementation of India's village health committees. VHCs play a vital role within the Indian health system connecting the most marginalized communities to the services they need, as well as monitoring the effectiveness of these services. The Public Health Foundation of India and the National Health Systems Resources Center, where I work, were co-collaborators on this research project. Our task was largely to make sure that the research was embedded within the national guidelines, um, to look at what divergences there would be from the national guidelines, and to make sure, as far as possible, implementation was within the scope of what the national guidelines was meant to be provision of hand-holding and mentoring to the groups and to the communities went a long way in making them more vibrant and more inclusive of the marginalized. Meetings started to happen more regularly. Uh, committee members felt more empowered to take action on local issues. Health Systems Global and the Alliance for Health Policy and Systems Research, as well as their members, are playing a key role in developing and advocating for this essential field of research. Health Systems Global and the Alliance work two ways. One is to empower and arm the community of people involved in health systems work and health systems research globally with the tools and mechanisms to improve health systems. And the other way is to, uh, through action at a global level, through close partnerships with other organizations to promote the agenda of health system strengthening and resilient health systems globally. We are contributing to make sure that health systems have the needed evidence before these are designed. These are not designed because of somebody thinks this is the way to do it. So we are helping them to have a real knowledge base which is based on the scientific rigor. Both the Alliance and Health Systems Global place the development of HPSR center, front and center in their mandates. We work continuously in improving the science of HPSR. It's a hybrid field which draws in inputs from various social sciences and public health sciences. So it's constantly evolving. The priority for the Alliance and HPSR that we should have an adequate body of knowledge so that when there's a need to use to strengthen the health system, it's available. The other is to strengthen the capacity, especially in the young researchers and the women, so that countries, if they need their, the evidence there, they can use the local knowledge from their own researchers. Like a lot of other people, I started off not as a health systems researcher. I started off as a medical doctor. Uh, issues that I was uh, concerned with in treating my patients were often not Im immediately under my control as a medical doctor. They referred to broader, uh, broader systemic issues such as uh, you know financing and the availability of uh, the right people to do the right work at the right time, and also to a, a poor understanding of what people really need when they seek healthcare and when they're when they're poor. Discipline that, uh, or the sort of subfield that, uh, that really helps to address these issues is health systems research, and that's how I became passionate about it. And it's, uh, I, I haven't looked back. Health policy and systems research is crucial to building stronger, more resilient health systems. It provides us with essential knowledge to guide our pursuit of the sustainable development goals and to achieve universal health coverage. Only by generating a robust evidence base can we design and implement policies and plans to ensure health systems are able to prevent and treat illness and respond and adapt to future shocks.